there. Welcome to the jungle. So, what do you want to do? Alrighty. Let's take a look at this. If you need some pointers on how to get around this place, just click here. If you want to play along with the story, click this spot here. If you just want to lie back and listen to the story, click here. If you want to go to your favorite part, click here. And when you're ready to get out of here, click right here. Remember, if you have any problems, just click on me to get back here. So, Hakuna Matata. You know, no worries. One special morning, the animals of Africa came to Pride Rock to celebrate the birth of Simba, the new prince. Everyone rejoiced, except Scar, the king's brother. Well, I was first in line until the little hairball was born. Dad, 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 come on, Dad. Okay, okay, I'm up, I'm up. When Simba was old enough, his father Mufasa took him to the top of Pride Rock to show him the lands he would someday rule as king. Look, Simba, everything the light touches is our kingdom. What about that shadowy place? That's beyond our borders. You must never go there, Simba. Later, Scar told Simba that the shadowy place was really an elephant graveyard. He said that only the bravest lions went there. Well, I'm brave. And remember, it's our little secret. Simba and his best friend Nala told Zazu they were going to the watering hole. They were really planning to go to the elephant graveyard. Along the way, the cubs teased Zazu. Step lively. I beg your pardon, madam, but get off. The elephant graveyard was full of old bones and geysers. The two cubs had a lot of fun exploring the graveyard for a while. We are all in very real danger. Mufasa. Zazu. Yes, sire. Take Nala home. I've got to teach my son a lesson. Mufasa was very disappointed that Simba had disobeyed him. The cub explained he was only trying to be brave like his father. Simba asked Mufasa if they would always be together, and Mufasa told him to look at the stars. The great kings of the past look down on us from those stars. Those kings will always be there to guide you. And so will I. Scar desperately wanted to be king of the Pride Lands, so he plotted with the hyenas to get rid of Mufasa and Simba. Stick with me, and you'll never go hungry again! <laughs> Scar tricked Simba into waiting in a gorge, while the hyenas started a wildebeest stampede. Hold on, Simba! Mufasa saved Simba just in time, but could not save himself from Scar. What have you done? 
Scar told Simba that Mufasa's death was his fault. What am I going to do? Run away, Simba. Run. Run away and never return. <gasps> Scar and the hyenas took over the Pride Lands. <laughs> Pumba and Timon rescued Simba from the desert and brought him to their beautiful home in the jungle. They taught him about Hakuna Matata, no worries, no problems, and how to enjoy their way of life. Mm. Ew, gross! Oh well, Hakuna Matata. Simba grew up in the jungle with his friends Pumba and Timon. One day, while Pumba and Timon were out hunting bugs, a hungry young lioness sprang out of the high grass and attacked Pumba. She's gonna eat me! Simba? How did you? It's great to see you. Let me get this straight. You know her. She knows you. But she wants to eat him. And everybody's okay with this? Did I miss something? Simba was surprised to discover that the lioness was Nala, his best friend. We've really needed you at home. No one needs me. I'm not the king. Scar is. That night, Rafiki came to Simba and led him out into the grasslands. There, Mufasa appeared in the sky and spoke to his son. Look! Father? Simba. You have forgotten who you are, and so forgotten me. No. Remember who you are. You are my son, and the one true king. Remember. Simba decided that he had to return to the Pride Lands and take back his kingdom. He challenged Scar to see who would be king. The two lions fought as a fire raged behind them. Simba won the battle and became king of the Pride Lands. Remember. With the return of the rightful king, the Pride Lands were restored. One special morning, the animals came to Pride Rock to celebrate the birth of a new prince. Simba and Nala watched with pride as Rafiki raised their young cub high above his head, continuing the circle of life.
So do you want to hear the story again, or do you want to leave? Well, see you around the jungle. Keep in touch. <laughs>
Kokwam has asked to seek your hand in marriage. He will make a fine husband. Marry Kokwam? But he's so... serious. This is the right path for you. Pocahontas felt confused. Was marrying Kokowum really the right path? She came to my glade with her friends Miko and Flit to ask my advice. All around you are spirits, child. They live in the earth, the water, the sky. If you listen, they will guide you. Listen with your heart, you will understand. I hear the wind. It's saying something's coming. One day, a ship from England sailed into our river. Among the men on board was the greedy Governor Ratcliffe, who came in search of gold. I hereby claim this land for England, and all its riches for me. And now, Thomas, get to work. John Smith came in search of adventure. I've been looking for a place like this all my life. Well, hello. You're a strange-looking fellow. Hey! Soon, everyone knew that strangers had arrived. Chief Powhatan asked his medicine man, Kikata, to tell him more about the visitors. These are not men like us, but strange beasts. They stalk the earth like hungry wolves. We will observe these visitors until we know their ways. The visitors stayed and began building the settlement of Jamestown. John Smith explored our green forests. Pocahontas was curious about this handsome stranger and followed him to the waterfall. No, wait! Who are you? Madakwe, Naturath. Listen with your heart, you will understand. My name is Pocahontas. I'm John Smith. We'll show your people how to use this land properly. How can there be so much that you don't know? Wait! Pocahontas and John Smith each saw the world differently. The settlers wanted to change the land. Pocahontas and her people knew it was important to share it with all living things. We'll cut down these trees, build roads and decent houses. But to us, every creature, rock and tree has a life, a spirit, and a name. The drums, they mean trouble. Please, don't leave. I have to go.
Chief Powhatan sent his warriors to watch the settlers. What they saw upset them. Ratcliffe had ordered his men to dig up the land. Any gold yet? Nothing but rocks and dirt, sir. Savages. Ratcliffe panicked, and the settlers shot at the warriors, hurting one of Cocoam's friends. Chief Powhatan thought that the settlers wanted to fight. Both sides prepared for war. Let's try talking to them. They do not want to talk. Savages! We'll fight them! They're not savages. They can help us. We don't have to fight them. There must be a better path. Sometimes our paths are chosen for us. We have to try talking to them. Thomas, follow him. Pocahontas and John Smith found each other in my glade. They did not know they had been followed. See? Once two sides want to fight, nothing can stop them. Maybe it's not too late to stop this. Hello, John Smith. Only when the fighting stops can you be together. Look out, John! Kokuum! Thinking Kokuum was going to hurt John Smith, Thomas shot Kokuum. Chief Powhatan's warriors blamed Smith for Kokuum's death and captured Smith. Thomas ran for help. They're going to kill him at sunrise, Grandmother Willow. You have to stop them. You know your path, child. Now follow it. Pocahontas ran to stop her people from hurting John Smith. Ratcliffe and the settlers had already gathered, ready to go to war. Father, stop! This is where the path of hate has brought us. If you harm him, many more people will die. My daughter speaks with a wisdom beyond her years. From this day forward, if there is to be more killing, it will not start with me. Release him! Chief Powhatan's words were understood by all the people gathered except one. Radcliffe fired his gun at Powhatan, but John Smith stepped between them and was hit instead. Radcliffe was sent to England in chains. John Smith also had to return to England so his wounds could heal. Pocahontas and Chief Powhatan came to say goodbye. Pocahontas, come to England with me. My place is here, with my people. But I can't leave you. You never will. No matter what happens, I'll always be with you. Forever.
Pocahontas remembered John Smith for the rest of her life. The peace that Pocahontas brought between her people and the English settlers lasted for many years. Well, child, that was the story of Pocahontas and John Smith. Now, what would you like to do next? Well, child, are you sure our visit is over? Yes? No. I hope you will visit with me and my friends again very soon. Anna, goodbye.